life here is so very different from the way things work in Merkmire. I never realized how many Argonians have such a terrible existence. And now the blackguards are just making things worse. And um, were you able to talk to the Argonians I suggested? The Argonians I talked to said the same thing. Apparently, the woodcut describes some sort of ritual that will allow Margus to either find or retrieve the cursed skull. What did the Argonians you talked to have to say on the subject? That's interesting. Very interesting. Those words mean the forbidden place in the language of Merkmire. I also learned that the blackguards are preparing to launch an expedition to find this island so Margus can perform the ritual. We need to find that ship. One of the Argonians told me that only three blackguards know the location, but as a precaution, they each carry one-third of a map. They must work together to reach the ship. You find two of them, and I'll get the third. It was scraped out with some kind of tool. Magic of some kind. Rajin Shadow! Zara thought you another monster coming up to... Do not surprise Zara again. Zara asks you that question. Skulking about sneaking out. Announce yourself next time. Zara might have clawed you to shreds. What would you do then? Jacob. I thought you were one of them. This place crawls with Fenlord servants. Left behind when they created the Crown of Ascension. Zara came here looking for it, but did not expect so much resistance. You will help, yes? Zara will make it worth your while. Step lightly. Fenlords do not keep lazy servants. They could be on us in a flick of a tail. Some say it is a tool. Will the Fen Lords encase themselves in ice to wait out the long ages? Others suggest a jewel encrusted crown that reveals all places and possibilities at once. Alien necromancer kings who once ruled Black Marsh. When their slaves rose against them, the Fen Lords had them executed and revived as undead. Preserved against the ages. They toil even now, protecting the tombs of their long dead masters. Unknown. Some say they created the crown of ascension and left Nern forever. Others claim they were overwhelmed by Alicia's rebellion. What matters to Zara is finding the crown of ascension, obtaining it, and getting out of here alive. A fine goal, no? Does it matter? It is old and very well guarded. If we gain it, we will be renowned. If it is powerful, we become powerful. Whatever happens, our names will be sung throughout the ages. Is this not a worthy goal? If it is big, leave it and sell the location to any who would have it. If it is small, take it and find the highest bidder. If it is powerful, well, some things are best kept to oneself, yes. As companion to famous Zara, a share in my fame, of course. But you mean compensation, yes? Zara has a cash reserved for this very thing. Do not worry, you will be paid well. As you see, Zara is Zara. Join the guild, but that wasn't for me. Too much sitting and waiting for orders. Bah! Alkash waits for no one. Why should Zara? Mages, to find things that are hidden. They have the most exquisite libraries in Dune. Row after row of books. It's easy to see how things become lost. Then again. There is a guild for that, too. Just as one finds things that are lost, another may lose things that are found. 
There is profit in both. Neither much tolerates the competition. Studying the dead, learning more about them. They have no minds, yes? Nothing to fill the space between the ears. Replaced with magic. Old magic. Fortunately, there are ways around that. Even in death, the Fenlords distrust their servants. To guard against rebellion, they inserted control icons into the heads of their arisen slaves. That does not work well. Magic has faded, yes? It is enough to stop one of these monsters in its tracks, but only for a time. Zara was barely able to overcome the one at our feet. This is why I need your help. With regret, no. Zara is very clever, but not so strong. If the moons do not smile on us, this stone may be Zara's only escape. 